What do people think an eating disorder looks like? Thin, white, female, financially well-off, able-bodied. What do eating disorders actually look like? Everybody. You cannot tell by looking at someone if they have an eating disorders. Eating disorders don't discriminate, but past research has. Hi, I'm Dr. Carolyn Becker, co-director of the newly formed Food Insecurity Lab at Trinity University. The aim of our research is to begin to investigate unexplored questions regarding eating disorders in populations that have previously been understudied. For instance, you might not think that people who rely on food banks are at risk for eating disorders. You would be wrong. Famous research conducted around the time of World War II by Ansel Keys demonstrated that some healthy people who undergo periods of severe food restriction develop symptoms of eating disorders, such as binge eating. People who are food insecure, who don't have enough food, frequently experience periods of food restriction. To date, no research has investigated the relationship between food insecurity and eating disorders in adults. Until now. In the summer of 2016, with the help of the McNair and Murchison Fellowships, HEB, and the San Antonio Food Bank, we learned that you must document that a problem exists before you can solve it. Hi, my name is Bridget Taylor, and I'm a first-generation college student in the McNair Scholars Program. In this study, we have to conduct three phases of research. One, document the problem. Two, understand the nature of the problem. And three, find a solution or intervention for the problem. This summer, we completed the first phase of research, finding that almost one out of five of those in the highest level of food insecurity met criteria for an eating disorder. During this study, Bridget and I learned how to complete a research project from start to finish, how to partner with local and community organizations, and how to work with people on the margins of society. Now that we have found that this previously unrecognized problem exists, we need your help to ultimately find a solution. Your support will mean a student like me can spend the summer focusing on phase two of our research. With this research, we also want to help people who are underrepresented as professionals in the eating disorder field achieve their career goals. My long-term goals are to go to graduate school with the aim of becoming a psychologist who focuses on health, wellness, and eating disorders. Please help this research continue on to phase two. Thank you to our past and current supporters.